Hi. Hey guys, it's Jamie and welcome to what I think is my third clothing haul. I'm wondering if this is just highlighting how much I end up buying a buttload of clothes that I just don't need. This time it started off as perfectly innocent online browsing, just window shopping, no intention of really buying anything except maybe a new pair of jeans, and then just sales and student discounts. One thing led to another and I kind of ended up with some stuff. Yeah. Also, the ASOS one arrived today and I haven't opened it. The Top Man one arrived a couple of days ago. The self-constraint to not just try the stuff on, I've done it for you. <laughs> I did open the bag because I felt something hard and lumpy in the bag and I was like, I didn't order anything hard and lumpy and I was intrigued. So it t t turned out to be a, a free razor. Super handy. I don't shave. I mean, I could shave. I could. Think I'd look good, clean shaven. I don't. Anyway, first show item. I don't know. I think I'm in a weird mood today, guys, so this video may end up being a little bit strange. But essentially, what I'm going to do today is show you what I've bought, explain to you where it's from and the size, if you're interested, and then try the stuff on either afterwards or like I'll cut it in between. I don't know how I'll edit it. I used to wear everything like really tight, so I'd get like size small t shirts and jumpers and stuff and shirts, and they would just be very, very tight, particularly on my shoulders. I kind of started wearing baggier stuff. I don't know if you can tell, this jumper's kind of big. It's like wearing a woolly bin bag, but I still wear like super tight jeans. With this, I really tried to stay away from the baggy jumpers and I still ended up with two. Um, I did try and order a few things that I've either not bought in a while or I don't really have in the larger sizes that I like to wear now. I'm just gonna stop talking and show you. So I will start with the Top Man bag, seeing as it's open. Let's just pull this bag out because that makes it easier. First thing from Top Man is this blue shirt. So it's like big checks and it was described as like drop shoulder and oversized and it has these gigantic pockets which look super handy. I tend to buy stuff in a medium if it says it's oversized. But yeah, I don't really have a blue shirt like this and that's really just an excuse to justify the purchase to myself. I didn't pay £30 for it, it was in the sale but I can't remember how much it was. But first item, I like it. I like stuff really baggy, so this is maybe a slightly looser fit. Yeah, it's cool. Next up, we have a jumper, like a sweater thing. I know Americans get really confused when I say jumper in videos. I don't know, like sweatshirt? I don't know. This warm piece of clothing, which I only paid nine pounds for, and I saw it in Top Man like ages ago, and I really liked it. It's got like roses and it says hope, and I just thought it was cute. And I didn't buy it back then, I was like, oh, I wish I bought that jumper. But I got it even cheaper now, so yay! And I bought this one in a large. Yes, I like that. This is like very much what I wear, and I like the size. Uh... And the final item from Top Man, kind of unusual for me. Oh, sticky, sticky. Ew. It is a navy zip up hoodie. It's unusual because I don't tend to spend money on zip up hoodies. Like I just go to Primark and I buy like the cheapest ones. So I thought I would treat myself and buy a branded one that was originally 65 pounds but was significantly less than half of that price. What I have just noticed is it says the brand on the hood, like, not sure if I'm really into that, but I like the rest of it. I like the gold detail and like the zip and stuff. And uh, that's in a medium and I would have bought it in a large, but I got a medium because it was the only size I had left and I really liked it. It's like my Jurassic Park t-shirt. I do kind of wish they'd had it in a large. It's a bit kind of snug, especially like on the sleeve. The sleeve length isn't great. And then there's the thing on the hood and the hood is, the hood is tiny. Do I have a big head or is this just a really tiny hood? Oh, maybe it's not that tiny. It feels tight. Sleeve leg, like if I do anything there. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one. Not sure. The label, the label, the label has gone down. <laughs> That's it for Top Man. Let's go to ASOS. This was the big shop. It's been a very long time since I've bought this many clothes in one go. It's been since the last clothing haul, which was in November. <laughs> Ready? Well, that was fun. Okay, let, let's start with the smallest item. I bought a pair of pants because I like the description. 
and they're called ASOS Hipsters with Pink and Red Skating Dinosaurs. I couldn't not. I couldn't not buy them. They're really ugly, but I love them. There. That's my new pants. I won't do a show and tell of these ones. I bought a few t-shirts from ASOS. So this is the first t-shirt. It's just black and it has like this embroidered seahorse on which looked significantly cuter online. It's kind of ugly and it looks inside out. Is the t-shirt inside out? Oh no, that is the right way. It looks even worse actually inside out. Okay, I mean, I don't have anything against slightly ugly embroidered animals. So I will try it. It's a nice size. It's, I bought this one in a medium. Yeah, medium. Normally I'd like roll the the sleeves up a little bit because I've got super skinny arms and I just feel like it makes my arms look ever slightly less twig-like. I actually quite like the fit of this t-shirt and it's like it's a nice length, it's kind of like semi-long line. And you know, I think I can forgive the weird lilac and silver ugly seahorse. Let's just go with all the t-shirts, yeah? I also just got this kind of like just plain black t-shirt that's a bit like oversized with a pocket. That is also a medium. It looks smaller than the other medium though. Does anybody else do this when they try on t-shirts that still have a label where it gets stuck? This is like tight fit for me. I mean, I don't know how much of a fan I am of the kind of distressed edges, but I mostly bought it for going under shirts, so I would probably pair it with this shirt, like, and wear it open. So I'd probably do like that, which I quite like. So I think I'll keep it, it was like super cheap. So I think I'll keep it as like a basic undershirt t-shirt. And the final t-shirt is this one. It's also in a medium. I quite like this kind of lighty pink colour. And the weather's getting a bit nicer and I tend to go for like brighter colours in spring and summer and then I mute it down to like blacks and greys for the winter. <laughs> kind of reflects my mood. I like the colour. Again, I would probably roll the sleeves up once or twice. I mean, yeah, it's a t-shirt. I like it. Yay. Jumpers. I got a couple jumpers. First one I got was this like waffle texture, just plain black like woolly thing, it feels stretchy. I got this in a medium and I wasn't sure whether to get it in a medium or a large and the medium doesn't look as big as I would normally wear these types of jumpers but I will try it on and see. It's, it's, it's really soft actually. Just so that I don't have too many things that are tent-like on me. It's quite nice to get a medium for once and, you know, see my, see my, no, I don't have any pec muscles, don't ignore me. But yeah, no, I like that. I think I'll definitely keep this. It's kind of like a cheap and cheerful wardrobe staple. And final jumper. You know when you're like looking at stuff online and you think, oh, that's a bit different. I'm going to try it. And then it arrives and you see it and you're just like, I'm not sure if I like it. Like, was I having a weird moment when I bought it or have I just bought something that is going to turn into my favourite jumper? And I really can't decide with this one. I have nothing that's like this. It's very unusual for me. It's essentially a plain black hoodie, also medium, but it's got like the, like a, a shoelace. It's got a shoelace on it. Yeah, I'm going to give it a go. If it doesn't work, I will send it back. Yeah, it's going in my mouth. Oh, oh no, where's it? Where's it? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, well we got there in the end, didn't we? Hey, you know what? You might be watching this at home going, what in the hell, that's horrible. Or you might be going, that's really nice. And I think I like it. I don't know if you'd wear like a pattern. I'd definitely wear something. Like I don't think you just want to see like my scraggly chest hair sticking out over the top. <laughs> just through the shoelace. Oh. But no, I like that. I quite like it. It's different. Okay. I'm just going to keep this on whilst I do the jeans. And I got two pairs of jeans, both black, both super skinny, but different brands and brands I haven't tried jeans with before. So one is New Look and one is Bershka. Never heard of them before. They they just look like they fitted the model nicely, which is a really bad way to pick clothes because I am nowhere near as muscly as a model. Oh, okay. They're probably not gonna look great on me then. Anyway, oh, they're really like lightweight. So these are a 30 regular. Oh, they smell like fart. That's weird. The texture of them is less jeans and more kind of like, like waterproof joggers. Do you know, they feel like leggings, but they are relatively short. Like I've got a little like ankle grazer going on. Definitely couldn't roll them up. I think I'm undecided. I'm gonna try on the new look ones before I make a decision. This is the most interesting packaging I've ever seen. 
for a pair of jeans. They could go in a clothes cannon. Oh my god, they're tied together. I feel really special. Look, they're tied. That was satisfying. Ready? <laughs> um, these ones are New Look Super Skinny. And I got these in a 32-34 because I did actually buy these jeans before from New Look and I got them in a 30-34. Great length but the waist was too small. Like every, every other brand, I'm a 30 waist, but for some reason, these ones seem to be a 32. And I got them in a 34 because typically I go for a regular length, but they're always just like grazing my, my foot. Like they don't go all the way down. Like I could never roll up a regular length leg pair of trousers because then they would just be like cropped trousers and I'm not into that look. So I thought I would try a longer pair and see how that goes. These are more the type of jeans that I would wear. Like, I don't even know if you can tell the difference on the video, but like they, they actually go right the way down. <laughs> They're not just grazing my ankle, they are full on making out with my ankle. And yeah, I like them. Okay, I think it's a yes to the new look jeans and a no to the Bershka denim. They are nice, they're just a bit too thin for me and a bit too short. I am loving this jumper. Go shoelaces. Shoelaces on every jumper. But yes, th this is all the clothes. Uh, this is also an incredibly disorganized video, sorry. Very busy Easter weekend coming up, so I'm having to record this in advance in a little bit of a tight schedule. But yeah, let me know what you think of the clothes, let me know what your kind of style is, and if you would be interested in me making more videos about what I wear and what kind of clothes I like, maybe doing something like a wardrobe tour, then leave a comment below and let me know if that's what you wanna see. And let me know what your favorite item from this haul was. I hope it was big enough for a haul. Was that big enough for a haul? I'm never sure. Anyway, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Much love. Bye.